Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit five, lesson 10, multiply. Problem number one, evaluate each expression. A, negative 12 times one third. That's the same as one third of negative 12 or negative 12 divided by three. The value of this expression is negative four. B, negative 12 times negative one third. That's the same as negative one third of negative 12 or negative 12 divided by negative three. A negative times a negative or a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So the value of this expression is positive four. C, 12 times negative 5 fourths. We could cross cancel if we want. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 12 divided by 4 is 3. And we can rewrite this expression as 3 times negative 5. And the value for this expression is negative 15. D. Negative 12 times negative 5 fourths. This is almost exactly the same as the last one, except for this is a negative times a negative, so the answer is going to be a positive. We can cross cancel again. Four divided by four is one, negative 12 divided by four is negative three, and we can rewrite the expression as negative three times negative five. So negative times a negative is a positive, and three times five is 15, so the value for this expression is positive 15. Problem number two. Evaluate each expression. A, negative one times two times three. We can do two times three to get six, and then negative one times six. That equals negative six. The value for this expression is negative six. B, negative one times negative two times three. We can do negative two times three to get negative six, and then negative one times negative six. That's a negative times a negative, which equals a positive. So negative one times negative six equals positive six. The value for this expression is positive six. C, negative one times negative two times negative three. We can do negative two times negative three to get a positive six, and then we can multiply negative one times positive six. That equals negative six. The value for this expression is negative six. Problem number three from seventh grade unit five, lesson one. Order each set of numbers from least to greatest. Let's look at the numbers in group A. We'll start with the negative numbers with the highest absolute value, and that would be negative six. The next largest number would be negative two, the next number would be zero since we ran out of negative numbers. Now we're looking for the smallest of the positive numbers. That would be four. And then finally the largest number or the number with the greatest value is eight. Now let's look at the set of numbers in group B. Let's look for the negative number with the largest absolute value. That would be negative five and a half. That's also equivalent to negative 5.5. The next smallest number is negative 5.2. We have negative five, and then we have the fraction negative five halves, which is equivalent to negative 2.5. Now we're looking for the smallest of the positive numbers, 5.5, and that's the only positive number. So this is a look at set B from least to greatest. Problem number four from seventh grade, unit five, lesson three. 30 plus negative 30 equals zero. A, write another sum of two numbers that equals zero. Negative two plus two equals zero. B, write a sum of three numbers that equals zero. Five plus negative two plus negative three equals zero. C, write a sum of four numbers that equals zero, none of which are opposites. Two plus three plus negative one plus negative four equals zero. Problem number five, from seventh grade unit five, lesson six. 
A submarine is searching for underwater features. It is accompanied by a small aircraft and an underwater robotic vehicle. At one time, the aircraft is 200 meters above the surface. The submarine is 55 meters below the surface, and the underwater robotic vehicle is 227 meters below the surface. A. What is the difference in height between the submarine and the aircraft? That would be 200 meters minus negative 55 meters. The distance between the two would be 255 meters. B. What is the difference between the underwater robotic vehicle and the submarine? Negative 55 meters minus a negative 227 meters. The difference between the underwater robotic vehicle and the submarine is 172 meters. Problem number six from seventh grade unit five, lesson eight. A, Claire is cycling at a speed of 12 miles per hour. If she starts at a position chosen as zero, what will her position be after 45 minutes? We can make a chart. On the left-hand column, we can put miles, and on the right-hand column, we can put minutes. Let's start with the information they gave us. Claire is traveling 12 miles per hour, and an hour's 60 minutes. 60 is five times larger than 12. In other words, 12 times five equals 60, or 60 divided by five equals 12. This tells me that the number of miles times five gives me the number of minutes, or the number of minutes divided by five gives me the number of miles. For example, one minute divided by five equals a distance of one-fifth of a mile, or two-tenths of a mile. Now let's answer their question, and we can start by putting 45 minutes in the right-hand column. 45 minutes divided by five equals nine, so it would take Claire 45 minutes to travel nine miles. B. Han is cycling at a speed of negative eight miles per hour. If he starts at the same zero point, what will his position be after 45 minutes? Remember, negative eight miles per hour could really represent a direction that he's traveling. So Han could be traveling eight miles per hour west, compared to Claire, who may have been traveling east. Again, we can answer this by creating a chart with miles on the left and minutes on the right. They tell us that Han's traveling negative eight miles per hour and there's 60 minutes in an hour. Working from the right side to the left side, 60 minutes divided by negative 7.5 equals negative eight, or 60 divided by negative eight equals negative 7.5. This tells me that one minute of riding divided by negative 7.5 equals negative 0.13 miles. One times 45 equals 45 minutes and negative 0.13 times 45 equals negative six. So in 45 minutes, Han rides negative six miles, which could mean six miles to the west. C. What will the distance between them be after 45 minutes? Well, if Claire rides 9 miles in the positive direction, and then Han rides 6 miles in the negative direction, that's going to be a total of 15 miles between them. Think of it as the absolute value of positive 9 plus the absolute value of negative 6. Problem number 7 from 7th grade Unit 5, Lesson 9. Fill in the missing numbers in these equations. A, negative seven times what number equals negative 14? Well, seven times two equals 14, and a negative times a positive equals a negative. So negative seven times positive two equals negative 14. B, what number times three equals negative 15? A negative times a positive equals a negative, and five times three equals 15. So negative five times positive three equals negative 15. C, what number times four equals 32? So that's going to be a positive times a positive since the answer is a positive, and the four is a positive. Eight times four equals 32. 
You can also find that by doing 32 divided by 4. That equals 8. D. Negative 49 times 3 equals what number? Well, that's a negative times a positive, so you know the answer is going to be a negative. And 49 times 3 is 147. So the answer is negative 147. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.